Hello, 22 Tony here with another discussion on collecting vintage and antique ammo. Today I want to address collecting for those of you that for a variety of reasons aren't able to collect uh, live ammo. Depending on where you live or your circumstances there may be uh, certain situations where you're just not legally capable of owning live ammo. Now there's always the option of buying empty ammo boxes and there's many collectors that, that go that way but there are other uh, other ways of collecting as well. Now on previous videos I have talked a little bit about uh, the value of these old uh, firearms and ammo catalogs. There are people that will ju collect just these catalogs whether you're interested in the guns in them or the ammo there's a, a wealth of information in there and they come in a, a variety of manufacturers and uh, these have been available for many many years so this is a, an option for those of you that uh, can't own live ammo and, and you're not interested in just empty boxes these uh, old uh, advertising brochures are also a way to go but today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. Um, yesterday at auction I was lucky enough to win the bid on a lot of old hunting and fishing magazines. Um, I got magazines from the 1920s, 30s, and 40s. Now some of these weren't in great condition. And for example, this 1928, February 1928 hunting and fishing, um, the cover's off of it. it. It's seen better days. So for uh, a hardcore magazine collector this isn't going to be something that they'd be overly interested in but uh, I jumped right on it if you look at these old magazines the advertising is just absolutely wonderful this gives me a huge amount of information uh, about the ammo that uh, was being advertised at the time for example I know now in 1928 the uh, Remington uh, dog bone style boxes were certainly available at that time and, and this ad gives me a little bit of information about the ammo. Now even if you're uh, not interested in ammo, if you're a, a fisherman and you like uh, information on the old reels and, and lures, there's a wealth of knowledge in these magazines. And even just to sit down and read the old stories. If you're interested in the outdoors, um, there's some great stories in here. So uh, I definitely would recommend if you come across these old magazines, you know, don't hesitate to pick them up. They, um, again, some of them weren't in great condition. I've got a, a 1933 hunting and fishing that's clearly been banged around. Again, for me, this, this is a great wealth of information. There are people that will take these older magazines and actually cut them apart for the advertising. Now, I, I generally wouldn't recommend that. In this case, this one came apart. This would be a perfect option for advertising, uh, you know, mounting it. Here's just a couple of examples. The one on the left is um, a nice clean bore. This was a 1939 ad, and you can see it's still using the dog bone boxes. Now, I, I actually just put the whole magazine into the frame. Now, I didn't do a real professional job of mounting this here. I just uh, kind of just picked up an old frame out of my basement and, and put a backing behind it and stuck the magazine in there just to show you what can be done. The one on the right, however, is a, uh, a Western that it is just the ad itself, that the magazine was so far gone that it couldn't be saved, but I was able to find one decent page of advertising that I was able to frame. So these are options to you. Now, in my lot that I, I did find yesterday, there were some nicer condition ones as well. Here's a 1939 hunting and fishing. And again, the stories and the advertising in here are just wonderful. Um, definitely an area of collecting that um, you might want to look into if for whatever reason collecting ammo isn't your thing. Um, the, the graphics alone on, on these old magazines I think is just wonderful. So uh, here's a 1940 hunting and fishing and I'm sorry I was kind of off screen on the 1939 hunting and fishing. Um, Again, the, the graphics alone, uh, these are, are great. That could be mounted as well in it to a picture frame and um, would look great on any den wall on your uh, hunting room or, or wherever you're displaying your hunting and fishing memorabilia. 
So, uh, again, just a real brief video today. I didn't want to go into a lot of detail. I, I've got uh, another couple dozen magazines here, and I'm not going to go all through all of those, but um, there's some great information available out there. These types of magazines can be found at local auctions and flea markets, uh, the online auction sites like eBay. Um, they're, they're certainly available to you, and uh, I want you to kind of think about that, and uh, it might be a new area of collecting for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you like my videos. Please uh, feel free to share and watch my other videos.